The play Truth in Time depicting the life and times of the 14th Emir of Kano State, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, as staged in Lagos. Produced by the Duke of Shomulu Productions, the play is written by Professor Hamed Yarima and co-directed by Emmanuel Adejumo, otherwise known as Boy Salah. It depicts the lives, drama and intrigues surrounding the dethronement of both Emir Sanusi I and his grandson, Emir Sanusi II. It leans heavily on eyewitness accounts of two generations of Dogarai, the palace guards, who served both emirs. The play reiterates all the emirs stood for equality, good governance, and a better life for Nigerians, most especially abuse of women and the oath of silence. It's time to enlighten people and bring people to a knowing that this is not allowed. And for a long time it has been in the north. And they've tried so hard to eradicate this. The abuse of a woman, a girl, child, not going to school. You know, most of them they go uh, through the local thing. And it's even the male with the, the almagiris. And but the female child is like mute. They're not heard. But then the history is that they are the mothers and then we have to bring them out. It's like they are being covered and like put down. And this is what Senussi was trying to do, the Khalifa Tijani himself. And he cited in the story that this is one of the reasons why he was removed, because he said the bitter truth, the brutal facts. We're talking about a man, uh, the Emir himself, who has a very positive attitude to life, despite the things he's gone through, he's had, he's had privileges, but he's also, he's also human. Outside the, the sphere of those big privileges, he says, you can still move on, you can still contribute meaningfully to national development. And that's a big message for everyone. Uh, there are things uh, out there that are not making people very happy. So if you have somebody who speaks out, not minding his personal losses as a result of that, we'll probably get somewhere. Okay, basically, so what we try to do with this production is that we try to show the ethics, you know, the things that drive some of these leaders that want to emulate. You get, so when I join you, to, when you see things like this, you productions like this, you know, you're looking beyond the song and that, you try to look at what are things that drive this person. Do you get me now? Why did this man agree to be dethroned? He could have cut a deal and not be dethroned. You get me now? But the man has said, look, I'd rather, I'd rather, I, will, I won't bend my principles to lose my, um, uh, because of position. You get me now? So, respect that Nigerian youth, who is an emerging leader, not only politically, economically, socially, and in other aspects, you get, to imbibe some of these things. You get, once we imbibe some of these things, you know, things will be better for us this country. I'm telling you. The audience who cut across all sections of the society sat glued to their seats for over an hour in excitement as the three cast production performed. This is something that happens to people when they are dead. Yeah. And I can imagine what it feels like to sit down and watch your life be told through the eyes of other people. Yeah. And as I said yesterday, I, I refuse to read the script. And I just saw people like reading the script. People were saying, Make sure you read the script, you know. I mean, there's so many things in my life that could be bombshells. Uh, and my family, everybody was, was afraid that uh, knowing Edgar, he may come with something, <laughs> you know. And so, when I said, look, I want to be surprised. I want to see, uh, and I, if I read the script, I would be tempted to look in and say, well, you know, this happened exactly this way, not that way. Uh, but I think it's, uh, we all agree that this was a brilliant work of art.